This is uh, the thermal tap from a, a European project from InnoCore. Uh, that what we want to do is basically do more or less like a talent pool and trying to connect uh, the necessities or the needs of uh, different uh, biotech, pharma, uh, in vitro diagnostic companies, uh, medical device companies uh, that are looking for the people with a curriculum that combine training in advanced core technology in less science with entrepreneurial education. We have here some students from Bio Enterprise. We have also a student from different uh, places in Europe. Um, what we want to, to do here is STEAMs from the innovation enabling environment of core facilities in academia. A boost project-based collaboration with industry through blended education and share of practice for innovation. And we also want uh, the community to have like an international partnership to foster this innovation uh, and entrepreneurial spirit and to connect these uh, research institution and companies for delivering a framework for academy industry cooperation. So at the end of the day, what, that's the thing that we want at PTS Granada. And that's why we are in this European project, Erasmus Plus project. So we are going to switch that, uh, taking advance that uh, Juan is here with us. And we are going to, to start with uh, the company Vitro. Uh, that is a in vitro uh, company, uh, in vitro diagnostic company that have a lot of potential and a lot of opportunities now. So Juan, uh, the floor is yours. Uh, thank you so much for being with us here. Uh, thanks, Lourdes. Uh, first of all, good morning to everybody. And thanks to PTA Foundation, University of Granada, and all the students of Enterprise Master present today here. I feel very glad for to be here today and have the possibility of explaining the main aspect about the use, as well as the opportunities of workplace that we can offer. At the beginning, Vitro ISA was founded in Sevilla in the year 1989, like a distribution company of diagnostic products for national hospitals and reference laboratories. However, until the actuality, the company has grown to be able to develop, manufacture, and market its own products and reagents. We had commercialized in Spain and in over 30 countries in Europe, America, Asia, and Africa under the brand called Master Diagnostica. Vitro headquarters are present in the Spanish cities of Madrid, Sevilla, and Granada, and the company have a commercial delegation on Lisboa, Portugal. In Madrid, you can find the exportation sales department and general business management. Meanwhile, in Sevilla are located the national administration sales department, the research and development unit of software and hardware products, and also the basis production department. In the facilities of Granada, located inside of the Packet Technologico de la Salud, PPAs, the company has 2,000 square meters of laboratories dedicated to research, manufacture, and quality control, as well as the service provided by its own reference laboratory. Moreover, since uh, 2018, we also have a majority particip participation in Sictognos ASA, a Spanish private uh, company located in Salamanca, Spain, and specialized in development, production, and commercialization of EOBD flow cytometric reagents, software, and hardware. Our main customer in Spain are pathology and microbiology hospital service, analytical laboratories, academic and government institution, and there are also other companies of the pharma, biotech, and diagnostic system. 
a international level, our customer are about all distributor companies who sell or manufacture products. Main, type, main types sorry, of the of distributed products are principal IBD, commercial reagent, SA kits, and diagnostics instrument and software. For the other side, in our facilities of Granada, I produce two main lines of manufact manufactured products to national and international selling. First, molecular diagnostic system based in QPCR techniques, which work with the main commercial quantity thermocyclator systems, and PCR multiplex, multiplex and reverse depreciation techniques called DNA flow kit, which runs in our own robotic platform based on flow through technology, called in this case, hybrid spot system. And on second place, we produce pre-diluate immunohistochemistry antibodies in ready to use format and in situ fluorescence proof that works under manual use or under automated process by, by our own immunostainet robotic system called MD stainer. Currently, more than 60% of all our sales correspond to our products sold under the Master Diagnostic brand name. While the remaining 40% 40, 40 correspond to 30, to 30, sorry, 30 of distribution products. This data is the, is the evidence of the importance that have in our company all the process related with the research and development of the new products and its transference in our, our production system. All these processes don't be possible without a highly qualified resource human team. We, have, we offer the best service and the most efficient and accurate diagnostic solution adapted to each client's requirements. We are determined to follow producing technological innovation and personalized treatments, offering the best solution for IBD diagnosis in different areas, such as infectious diseases or pathology anatomy. Based on this, the company is increasing, is increasing sorry, the technological activity, the launch of new products and projects and looking for new collaborators international partner and applicant for work, workplace. Focusing on the possibilities of job in our facilities of Granada, we are open to considerate application of professionals and students interest, interest in work with youth on the actual interest area. This is area mainly, mainly are design of production of IBD kits and also commercial and regulation affairs of global IBD market. On base of this, the requirement design for the applicants are of two types. First, technical profile, preferably with experience in molecular biology and or histopathology techniques. They call work in technical departments like R&D project, research helper, production, man production manufacturing staff and quality control responsible. And two, commercial profile, who requires experience in IBD national and international market for collaborating in all marketing, commercial, and regulatory departments. Finally, I would like to add that in the past, B3SA had a very good experience with the master internship program of the University of Granada, incorporating in our team some of the students who worked with you. Thanks for, thank for your attention, and I will be happy to answer all the questions that, we, that you want to do. Too. So perfect, Juan. I, I think that is an excellent opportunity for the students. 
uh, especially because that is the the specific core uh, competence that they were studying. How many students do you think to that you can admit in this uh, season or in this uh, year? That I remember uh, and almost uh, um, four or four, five students. I don't know if Antonio can correct me. But from, from the anti fine press master, uh, when, um, from normally, uh, I remember two, two, three. Oh, but Juan, the, the question is, how many students do you accept this year? Ah, this year? Yes. Uh, with the actual situation, uh, nobody. <laughs> But do you think that maybe they can do some kind of work in the, uh, in the, for instance, bibliography research or things like that? Because uh, I mean, there is a lot of things that they can do. For instance, uh, study competitive competitive analysis or seeing uh, why your company is better than the competent, the potential competitors, or all of that. Have you considered this or? Um... Let, let me explain about the, uh, uh, sorry, let me, can you repeat about the, the question? Yeah, I mean, that maybe they don't need presence in the, in the physical presence that they can do the, in the, in the, in the, in the company, in the facilities. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. At the beginning, this is very important because, uh, yeah, I can our, imagine. our main, our main job, uh, in this type of location, uh, are in lab. Um, so the, the, the good experience is when you are working in, on, on, in the lab, if you are working uh, through, through the, the home or, or from home, it's more difficult to, to learn about all the, the things that we are doing actually. Okay. No, no, I can imagine that the presence. It's very important for the techniques and all of that. There is a question here in the chat, Juan, that is, is saying about, uh, you, you mentioned that you have already five uh, bioenterprise students that already did the TFM, the uh, final uh, master thesis uh work of sorry work uh, of the master in your facilities uh, i think that you you mentioned five no that's five students already yeah yeah okay um there is uh, any of these five that uh, were later uh, at, uh, that they have the possibility basically if vitro master diagnostica hired any of them if they was finally in the company or yeah uh, I, I remember I remember uh, three people are working actually on, in, in the production department oh, good. and the other uh, and the other people uh, was working in research and the research, research and development department very good. And do you know uh, the, I don't know if it's called it the industry PhD, doctorate industrial, any of these students have done? No, normally, no, normally all work uh, like a technologic uh, role, no mm -hmm. in researcher uh, role. Okay, it's more technological work than, because that could be another opportunity yeah, yeah, we know it, but the, the problem is in the last years uh, with the COVID, no, what the possibility of applicable applica to to this type of programs, and uh, we we consider it in the future, uh, we not, but uh, actually with the actual situation, all the all the program or the or these, these types of grants are difficult to to applicate because uh, you need uh, to. Require a very a lot of documents and, and very type of for, um, government uh, procedures. It is very difficult to do actually to, to all, all these types of, uh, of documentation and, and affairs 
to to yeah, to do the proposal. Annual, no? annual, annual grants, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I can imagine that. Uh, there is another question that uh, Alba is asking here. Is uh, when you say that you are not going to hire anyone for internship, do you mean to attend in person, or that are you are not offering any vacancies this year? I don't understand very good the question. I, uh... Okay, if you are, uh, because you mentioned that this year, because the COVID situation, maybe it's not possible to, ha oh, to well, hire a TF yeah, TFM yeah. Uh, internship or to have an internship. I mean, uh, I mean on the on actual year. In the future, we consider it to... In presence, but our question is, uh, and I think that uh, you answered that um, same as that uh, you need presence for Aline, Al, at least at the beginning, but uh, yeah, uh, yeah. that's maybe it's possible to do something online or you think that it's not possible? I, I need to, to, to double check, no? More, yeah, yeah, with the resource, uh, human resource department about deal with uh, it. Um, well, is is a thing that we can we can check, but actually I don't know <laughs> what is the the ask exactly. Yeah, it's difficult with the uh, actual situation. Depends of the role that the, the the person wants to to perform, and the the the, the department in where we, it had to to work. Another pos possibility is that, uh, as we did this last year, do it uh, less later on during the year, maybe in from September to December or something like that, uh, because maybe at that time everything have the vaccine. Uh, I mean, that is really very optimistic. But anyway, uh, maybe uh, there is a uh, possibility. So we will double check uh, with you later with your company. Um, it's good to know that you have these possibilities and these needs and requirements. Um, let's follow up a little bit, and if not, uh, later we can discuss a little bit more. So, Juan, if you can keep uh, or stay a little bit more with us, uh, that will be great, and we can keep discussing later if there are some specific or someone can ask a question through the chat. Okay? okay. So, and we are going to continue now with. Uh, Angel Cebolla, that is here. Um, um, Angel uh, is from Biomedal. Thank you, Angel, for being with us. We know how busy you are. Um, uh, welcome to this uh, uh, meetup from PTS Granada, and thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Uh, I think that I can connect. Hello. Everyone, uh, thank you for um, having this opportunity to participate in this interesting master. Congratulations to the organizer, <clears throat> Antonio, that uh, it has been uh, every year, uh, well, uh, a reference in the, in the master of uh, biomedicine in Spain. So, <clears throat> and, and congratulations with the relationship with the industry. I think that it's very important for the students. Um, well, uh, my, uh, my company was uh, founded uh, 20 years ago. We, we have been working in three different uh, uh, lines, uh, life science, which is now less important in the company, but still we are running uh, uh, um, laboratory services for, for the uh, academic um, academic groups uh, working in, in biotechnology and biomedicine, also with the industry. We are providing products and, and services to this part of the, of the market. We also provide analytical services for the industry, for the industry. This is another line of, of research. We started with uh, gluten uh, detection services, certification services. We uh, our analytical lab is is uh, one of the th three laboratory services with more uh, ISO 1725 uh, certification for for allergen detection. We have a lot of uh, about uh, 22 allergen different allergen detection in in food, 
and this is very active, uh, uh, very active, um, a, lo a lot of interest on the on this field because the, you know that uh, the allergies, uh, the food intolerances are more and more important. Maybe five percent of the population is suffering uh, food intolerances, and it's important to labeling uh, food. Uh, um, with <clears throat> with the uh, uh, content of, or absence of these allergens and uh, we have expanded now to to uh, cro <clears throat> chromatography services uh, we have uh, uh, incorporated new equipment for lcms in the company to provide these services and we are developing new uh, the detection of new uh, components in the food that can be toxic and this is, a, and this is a, also an expanding uh, line of the company. We are increasing this line about 15% every year. This year, in, in the COVID uh, uh, environment, we, we could also grow this market about 15% because, you know, that everyone has to, to, to eat every day. So that's, uh, <laughs> that's uh, something that we, we, we are we have to work uh, with this activity. The third activity is uh, in vitro diagnostic product. We started with a unique uh, uh, method for gluten detection in a stool and in urine. That, uh, that's a way to monitor the adherence of a gluten-free diet in gluten intolerant people. And we have launched this uh, product for home testing and also for clinical labs. <clears throat> and also we are developing new, new tests. We also have a uh, uh, commercialize and um, uh, develop uh, clinical studies for antigen tests and, and serological tests <coughs> for COVID-19. <coughs> and uh, we have grown the, the, the market about 100% last year. So this is a in vitro diagnosis is also a very intense in the, in the R&D and in the company. And uh, we are trying to create the market for, for the adherent to treatment in the in celiac disease in the beginning, and we will expand to other chronic disease in the future. So these are the, main, the three major activities in the company. So at the moment, we, I think that we have hired uh, two people in the, uh, from this master. One was working in the lab in R&D pro uh, projects, and the other one was working in, in, in biotechnology, uh, in, in marketing of biotechnology products, because of the, the communication of this product is important to create the, I mean, with the applying the science, but uh, trying to be, to be to connect with people that has not uh, a deep uh, knowledge in science, but uh, they need to know what the, the product can do for them. So it's important the, the marketing, the biotech marketing in this field to communicate the science in a way that can be, you, you can uh, communicate well what your, your product makes for you and uh, what the the, the advantage of the of the product compared to other competitors or other alternative. So uh, this are probably in the future we will have uh, we we can train people in the field of regulatory. This is very intense in the company now. Regulatory for in vitro diagnostics, uh, biotechnology, um, also uh, science marketing. I mean the scientific marketing the, to, to create documents and, and ways to communicate uh, uh, science in, in social media or, or other advertisement or communication, newsletter, etc. And the third, the third activities will be R&D in developing new analytical techniques for uh, food safe, for food safety uh, on the one hand and the, on, the, on the other hand we, we will work also in the middle diagnostics. So uh, at the moment we we don't have uh, 
space now in our, in our laboratory, but we will expand all 300 meters, square meters in, in July. So probably we will be able to, to hire, hire people for working in the lab or working in the offices for, for uh, training in, in management of uh, a marketing department or maybe in regulatory or in R&D. So thank you very much, uh, Angel. Uh, they are asking then, uh, because I understood that you are uh, open facilities or bigger facilities probably in July, they are saying uh, how many students national or in, uh, international because we have the possibility of both, but I think that first of all will be by enterprise uh, um, student. Uh, so how many students uh, do you accept each period or, or this year? Uh, well, we have a lot of demand for training in the company, so um, it, I don't have now the the schedule and it was difficult to to calculate because you know with the COVID-19 we yeah. have limited space even limited now but uh, not more than two we can admit no more than two this is the maximum mm -hmm. people that we admit every every time we we hire new people no, but just, I think that training. is I think that is an excellent opportunity for them. Um, I, I have to tell you, uh, Angel, that many of these students also saw the, uh, the session that uh, Virginia Sanchez uh, teach us in our regulatory Thursday. He was, she was talking about the IBIDA uh, regulatory transition, that is the uh, biomedal in vitro diagnostic test that uh, uh, is very interesting. Uh, very interesting. So maybe they can help you also with the regulatory, with marketing, regulatory, all the things that you are mentioning. Uh, I think that could be a great opportunity for them because it's something that is very neat and will be an excellent opportunity also for them to learn. To learn. Yeah, I think that there will be a lot of demand on that because you know that the, the change will, will require a lot of uh, work from the companies, from the industry to adapt uh, their product to the new regulation. Yeah, that's the thing that is exactly now the new regulation and they, is, they, they are asking also some of the students, Tina Pascal, for instance, he's asking, will it be possible or, uh, to start earlier if it is online, for instance, to study all the, because there is a lot of material online actually for the new regulation for in vitro diagnostic. Um, they think that maybe they can st start studying, um, reviewing all this information, seeing also what other companies are doing. Uh, do you think that that could be possible, for instance, to start in June or May uh, doing online work? Yes, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, the, I mean, the regulatory is looking for information, uh, adapting the information, asking for information, and, and, and creating uh, new documents with uh, scientific skill, and uh, so I think that uh, it's it's possible. Yeah, I had to to ask uh, our responsible for the technical director, mm -hmm. but in principle, yes, I think that we will we will have a, a lot of demand of this kind of work in in the next months. So we we are working. In fact, today do we have uh, two people working on that the whole day today mm -hmm. and so i think that the, yes there the will be for opportunity for to to start earlier what, what is the what is the what do you mean for earlier i mean <laughs> one month two months or when when they 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 shame they finish uh... Sorry, is that I was uh, reading the chat at the same time. When they finish the internship, you mean? May. Okay, May, May. I, I see. Yeah, I May. See the, the chat. So it's May. So, well, in principle, it would be good to to work in, in, in Seville, but uh, uh, maybe we can uh, we can work on online. We This will be something new for us because typically we have 
people that uh, uh, internship that uh, well they, they are part working at home and part working in in the in the office so we we, sh we change uh, so for time to time it would be good to to have a at least uh, a regular visit to Seville but I think that it's feasible maybe for regulatory issues or for marketing to work online. Yeah, I think so. I, I think that maybe uh, we can also, because we have some people here in the park that is helping us with in vitro diagnostic, and maybe we can also connect the student with them, and maybe they can do some homework and uh, doing this online, maybe if, if it's in the regulatory. So yes, may, uh, maybe it's feasible. Uh, uh, there is another question from Alba that say that you have put several research line in the presentation. Uh, and she's asking see if the two students uh, that will do the internship rotate between departments or will then be able to choose the topic for the uh, internship. Uh, so if they can choose or so they go to both uh, uh, research lines or how do you envision the, particip the participation of the student? Well, the, the, the work can be, they can choose if we can offer more than one activities, yes. But uh, typically we, we try to, to make uh, more than one option for the internship okay. for each uh, student. Do you prefer this or do you prefer that? This is also a way to <laughs> To increase the uh, to, to know that the the profile of the of the the student and the, to increase the motivation maybe of course sure <laughs> so uh, well there is a a lot here i think so let's see well um i would like to say something um, the first thing is uh, uh, to uh, to thank uh, Angel for your continued support to this master, the bioenterprise master, and, and for a second student. Uh, for us, it's, it's a proud uh, just to collaborate with your company because uh, all the students that did the internships, uh, they, they say that it was a weather, wonderful experience. So uh, we are very happy to continue this collaboration. Uh, my question is very simple. Is, did you mind if a student uh, contact you for the internship detail by email or? Yeah, no, no problem, yeah. Okay, yeah. so uh, I, I will provide this, uh, this uh, email to the student interested. Okay, thank you. Thank you very yes, much. Yes, if, okay. if they can, they can send up uh, the, the email, the principal motivation and what is that they are interested uh, to develop the career, maybe we can if we, we can combine their interest with the interest of the company, will be this will be the best for for everyone. But uh, of course, we what we can offer is what we can offer. <laughs> this is yeah, a, yeah. you have to adapt to to the interest of the yeah. the major interest of the company. That uh, at the end of the day is the interest of the, of our customers. Okay. Yeah, that is important. Yes, to, to have this contact because it has to create this personal agreement, which are a more important thing in the internship. Okay. Good. okay. So yeah, thank you very much, Angel. Thank you, Antonio. Thank you, Lourdes. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay. Hello, everyone. Thank you for this uh, opportunity. And, uh, <clears throat> okay, one moment, okay, <laughs> because I am entering right now. No problem. Can you see Gabriela the screen? Yeah, you see that uh, is your company there? Yes, there is a. Okay, a, you see this, okay. the screen. No? It's all right. Yes. Okay, so uh, I'm going to explain uh, about uh, how what Amifar uh, is dedicated, and uh, then what uh, we are searching for or looking for. Uh, about the students. So Amifar is a laboratory founded in 2015, but his history came from the experience of Alain, who founded and worked in this sector during 40 years. What Amifar does is to bring that experience in formulation and efficiency to other distribution channels, consumer goods and pharmacy. Amifar research, develops, and manufacturing for its 
uh, on lines and for third person too. Uh, the, the products uh, created in Amifar labs are developed based on three fundamental values that uh, differentiated us uh, a lot, like uh, the pluriactive cosmetics, high concentration of uh, active ingredients, multi-treatment uh, cosmetics, and innovative cosmetics. So, in, sorry. And uh, we are dedicated uh, right now to the research and development of new cosmeceutical products. Uh, we have uh, our own department of quality control and uh, uh, microbiological control. And uh, also all the products uh, are uh, submitted to the preclinical assay. The, the activity and the research lines for master students uh, will be the, the search or search in a database, in scientific database, for uh, new active ingredients or new or novel um, cosmetics and products, starting with uh, all the process for uh, since the idea to the manufacturing. Um, also, the physical chemical assays and the preparation of semi solid formulations. So, the requirement to be fulfilled for the applicants will be the pharmaceutical knowledge, chemical knowledge, uh, laboratory skills, interest in uh, all chain value processes, knowledge in the man management of a scientific database, and uh, initiative spirit. And uh, the advance uh, to be selected by Amifar is learn and know about all the chain involved in the creation of a final cosmetic product. So thank you for, uh, for this opportunity. And uh, I, I will be here for uh, any questions. And for any doubt, you don't hesitate to contact me at uh, grusso arroba amifar.com. Thank you so much, Gabriela. So, so clear and so uh, brief, um, um, but very a challenging opportunity also for the students. Uh, how many national and international students did you accept each, uh, this year? Uh, even we have the COVID situation, are you willing to accept uh, people in your facilities or will be online? How will we, how you envision the internship? Uh, there is the possibility of both uh, um, um uh, way okay uh, we have a facility laboratory so the students that are interested to learn in laboratory they can um, come with us but also for the uh, the work of a thesis of, of, of the master uh, we can work on online very good. And have you thought about to ask, for instance, a, a doctoral industrial, industry PhD, or Torres Quevedo Fellow, or some of that? Uh, have you thought about it? Yes, because maybe it's a possibility uh, to, to do the internship, and then if the student is good, and it's a, a, that could be a possibility for your company? I think so, because uh, if a student that uh, uh, has a, an experience with the laboratory um, is uh, uh, satisfied with, uh, with us and uh, we are satisfied with him or her, uh, I think that um, the, the possibility to other kind of collaboration is open. Okay. So, um, could we just one each, or so one online and one in person, or what do you think? Yes, yes. Maybe it is a good solution, also. Yes. 
Oh, Gabriela, uh, good morning. Buongiorno. <laughs> Buongiorno, Antonio. <laughs> Gab Gabriela is, uh, is our Italian friend. Um, thank you very much for participating again in in our my enterprise master and accepting a student. Uh, maybe a uh, student has to know that uh, in your company you are dependent in cosmetics, but it's in a special kind of cosmetics because uh, as far as I know, all of your activities focus in developing what we can call scientific cosmetic because you incorporate a growth factor, you incorporate the things that are relatively new in this field. So no, that's why uh, cosmetic is another a possibility to open our escape in, in the molecular biology activities, because most of the techniques uh, at the beginning has to start with molecular biology. And um, at the end is when you prepare the, the pharmaceutical preparation, the formula or whatever. So uh, my experience and the experience of other students in uh, working with you has been very successful. And, they, they all were very satisfied and they will say, oh, I never imagined something like that uh, doing the, this kind of thing in, in Granada. So thank you very much, uh, Gabriela. Thank you, Antonio. Thank grazie, you. Grazie mille. <laughs> grazie mille, grazie. Gabriela. Grazie. So, but uh, one second, Gabriela, I have another question for you from the chat. There is a... a a uh, student, Jose Bueno, that is asking if it's possible uh, to do um, a formula, formal development. So it's possible to, to, to propose a formal development or it's just you, the formal you have already just uh, all the finite formals or could it be possible to propose some? I mean... Yes, it is possible to propose. I have experience with uh, Jose Bueno. Oh, and uh, yes, uh, he is a very uh, he's a student uh, with uh, a lot of potential, and uh, I would like to to work with him again. Okay, wonderful. So Jose, you are here in Gabriela, so <laughs> take advantage of this opportunity. <laughs> and if you want to mention something, feel free to do it. <laughs> Uh, so um, another question from Tina Pascal. He's asking when are uh, we able to start the internship? Is possible to start, for instance, in May? Do you think that is that could be possible? Yes, so we... can you repeat? No, when will be uh, when the internship could start? Oh, okay, um, in every moment, um, right now also we are open. Yes. Okay. So it goes to the student. Thank you so much for being with us. Okay, thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. I am Gemma Mendez, and I work in Clover Bioanalytical Software in Granada as a software developer. Uh, we are a bioinformatica company specialized in data processing of mass spectrometry data uh, for bioanalytical bio chemistry and microbial identification, and also other clinical diagnosis applications using mass spectrometry. Uh, we apply machine learning techniques with the main objective of studying bacteria and disease and also studying taping. Um, we are now de developing a software based in artificial intelligence that using the data from the spectrometer, uh, it is able to detect, identify and classify different strains. And this is the, the main uh, work we will. And uh, we can accept uh, to students, for example, uh, and now we are working uh, both from office and from home. So we are open to what it is better for each student. We can, um, uh, we are flexible for in this, in this, in, uh, time we are living because of the COVID. Okay, so uh, Gemma, how many, as usual, we ask always, uh, how many students, national, international, do you accept each period? Uh, we accept uh, two. We can accept to up to two students. Okay. 
Gemma, uh, good morning. Uh, good morning. It is my pleasure to, to greet you today. Uh, I was in contact with Luis uh, last year and it was a very fantastic experience for us just to participate in with you, uh, even for the student, especially for students, because uh, as we know, uh, all of these bioinformatics activities are now in the core of many of the research of many of the development in, in the field of molecular biology. So your approach in, in giving solution for microbiology and things like that uh, is, is a very good opportunity for students, not just to learn about how to manage in that area, but also just to, to find a job in the future, because uh, as, as according with my, my feeling, uh, it's, 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 they're open to many possibilities. What, what do you think about this? Is, is this possible just to dedicate a, a career to bioinformatics right now in this yeah. field? I, I think that this is a, a field that is uh, growing a lot in the last years, as, for example, mass spectrometry now, there are a, a, lot, of, there are a lot of hospitals that has one mass, spect mass spectrometer, and this is a real fast technique that can, in, that can help to, to um, know the disease in an in a early in early time, so I think this is a, a, a very interesting field that is it's time more important. Definitely, I think that is an amazing opportunity. The thing is that you have to be fast in the market and you have to work very quick, no? because fast response to healthcare associated infections is key for the public health system. And right now we have I mean, I don't know, but I think that is more than 4 million people are affected with uh, healthcare associated infections and you can solve that. And yeah. you, I don't know if you understand the, the, the company and the solution. They are developing like another artificial intelligence uh, based software and you can, Gemma, correct me. Uh, 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 and, uh, and we are, uh, okay becoming a cloud, one of the key cloud vendors. The company has 40 years of story. In the past, we used to build this on-premise, traditional on-premise solution. As I have mentioned, we are now uh, in the, you know, we have for the last three, four years, we, we enter this cloud transformation at all levels in the organization, not only the way we build the software, but also in the way we sell it, the way we, we market it, and it's affecting all areas in the company. Granada, here in Granada, we have one of the main R&D hubs of the company. Uh, so it's not just like, uh, uh, an R&D center, but one, it's one of the main R&D centers, and we are, we are leading one of these uh, uh, the, one of the, some of the main projects of the company. We have now more than 250 employees and what we are opening now are 15 interpositions that you can check on the details in our website or social media. So you can find it there in Instagram, LinkedIn, et cetera, or just contacting Marina in, wanna, in case you wanna have more details. You have the contact details of Marina in the slide, Marina Fernandez. And uh, what, we're, what we are looking for, so we, are, we want people with IT background, with experience or knowledge or interest in cloud computing. The type of positions we offer is different. It's with his engineers, quality managers, also designers. So just take a look and, uh, and check uh, if any of them uh, suits you. And uh, the knowledge, you know, the, which are the requirements. So we are looking people with, with knowledge in C Sharp or .NET are the main technologies we, uh, uh, we, we use. In Azure, also DevOps culture, we have, because this is part of this transformation, of course. The attitude is important and the attitude in the sense that we look for people uh, 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 who loves learning. You know, and doesn't uh, and is not afraid of change and adapt and and, and adapt to new environments because we cannot expect someone to know everything we need. We don't even have all the knowledge already, but we have 
but we have people with the capabilities to learn the, 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 the knowledge that is, uh, that is needed for the future applications we want to build. And also, of course, as an international company, how being fluent in English is important because you will have the, you know, the opportunity to work with different colleagues in several countries uh, all across Europe and, uh, and, uh, and also abroad. And I think this is my summary. So the, in, in case you have any question or I, you want me to add more details to any of these aspects, happy to, happy to do it. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you so much. Uh, I have a question here. So how many national and international students did you accept uh, this year? 15. We have 15. Uh, but you, you mean in the in the positions we are opening? Yeah, in the position. Yeah. yeah. So we are we are opening 15 positions. Okay, very good. One five. And, yeah. Uh, that's another question that's from Fran Servilla that uh, they say he say it's possible to apply for the internship without working sorry without knowing how to program in those in those platform and learn during the internship so that they are saying that because the thing is that some of the, the students that are here are coming from the biotech background uh, they have some knowledge uh, uh, of uh, programming, but more uh, focus on massive data uh, produce or big data produced from science. Uh, so the question is this uh, profile that is more biotech or bioinformatics more than uh, real IT uh, background, uh, if it's possible because they have this uh, creativity, they have this uh, willingness to know, to, to learn, if that could be a possibility for them, or you think that is not possible? Yeah, I don't I know if I asked the question in a clear way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think it's possible, of course, you know, we, uh, because in fact, in the company, we have a division that they run. I'm, uh, I'm the, the manager of an innovation area within the unit four. And uh, we are developing more AI-based projects where this, uh, this kind of background in biotech or analysis, data, that's data analysis can fit. So, and also we have, we want to explore uh, this type of projects in, the, in our standard way of, the, of, of uh, development. So I'd, uh, I, would, uh, I would say, yeah, of course, the, but what they can, what they need to be clear is that uh, they will encounter a software company working also in the in a in the working also in this type of of uh, projects. So um, at, at the end of the day, they will have to learn and uh, a lot of about IT, how development works, how software is built. So it's good uh, that they are interested in, in all that they are interested in all these fields. Okay, otherwise can be a little uh, you know, to set the right expectations. Uh, Vanessa, sorry, uh, I didn't hear you clearly. You you said sixteen students. Fifteen, one five. Wow, <laughs> that's just unusual. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> No, the, the, the good things, Vanessa, and I am talking about my uh, personal experience, but uh, I think that uh, this kind of background are very useful. Maybe it's, it's difficult to learn at the beginning a little bit. The, the learning curve is a little bit higher, uh, but it's like when you do an MBA, do you have many people from uh, economics or engineers, and, and if you have someone from pharmacy or medicine, it's tougher for them to, to do an MBA. But when they do it, uh, they, they have a lot of potential because they have a lot of creativity and combine these different background in a very proficient, uh, effective way. So I think that this people, if they are open enough, they have patience and they work hard, uh, they have a lot of 
promising opportunities and also because that is the future. I, I think that uh, health and IT okay. are connected and bioinformatics is, a, is something that is, is very, very important. And the connection between IT and health is, is the future. So uh, from my point of view, I think that is very promising. Yeah, in fact, um, yeah. Um, so. Yeah, in fact, for example, Lourdes in the World Company, we have 70, 80%. I don't have like the, the, the. So, that's wonderful, Vanessa. Uh, in, in IT, you know, computer science. Yeah, but the rest comes from the, uh, a great variety of disciplines. So, for example, our quality managers are, are, are has very big different backgrounds. Or the people design the solutions as well, and they offer a way of you know they 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 can add to the teams new competencies, new ways of presenting or, or you know of analyzing the problem. So it's a good complement. And also, for example, we have been recently last year we have been hiring the unicorn to find. <laughs> This is one of these unicorns, and uh, what we try to 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 get is a mix of of skills and backgrounds. So you can have someone with a, a huge uh, knowledge of mathematics or statistics, or we 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 hire one person with experience in the biotech industry, in the investigation, in the academic investigation. Of course, this person needs to be. Uh, um, interested in learning uh, IT company, and as you said, having this uh, this global view is key for the future. I think myself, I'm an economist. I didn't study computer science, so I have learned how the how how this sector uh, works and uh, and breathes over this year, and it's it's exciting. And of course, it's, uh, it gives you a much more opportunities for your future development career. Very good, Vanessa. Thank you. Alba Segui for the Enterprise Master is asking us if are you developing any kind of software related to health of the, or diagnostic? No, no. The, our main sectors, uh, because we have like four verticals that do we, uh, for which we uh, developed like fitted solutions, and uh, they are sector, uh, university. And uh, yeah, university and academics, PSO, which is professional services organizations, consultants, this type of this type of companies, and then NGOs. So all these all these these four verticals, what they have in common is that the main asset of the companies is people. So they they are facing issues how to organize people in a more efficient way, the tools they need to develop. The project, the, the curriculum, etc., in the uh, in the most efficient way. But we don't focus on the on the public sector, on the on the health sector. From the time being, <laughs> for, yeah, for the time being. But we, for the short term, we don't we don't have any. You know, no, any no, no, I understand. To, no. To yes. area. Yeah. No, that the, the, I just as I am, we are in the in the park, you know. That I always, yeah. but there is a lot of possibilities even in these sectors, and I think that is yeah. a great opportunity. And hopefully, in the near future, maybe we can do something else. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, but I don't think that the, we have more questions. If you want uh, to, uh, uh, yes, oh, I would okay. like just to slip another comment, uh, if possible, for this. Uh, Vanessa, uh, because uh, my my concerns and most of the students have the same feeling is because we are just uh, coming from the biosciences. Uh, all of these uh, activities in, in the bioinformatics uh, sometimes are very, very far from us. So now uh, my question is if it is possible just to introduce uh, new activities in, in your enterprise in order to develop new projects in which we can uh, match these two things, the biotechnology and, and the informatics, or has to be always just developing the, your own programs. I mean, uh, this is a possibility to open new lines for students during the internships or not? Oh, no, nobody answered. I think I Vanessa think. has gone, but maybe I could I could help. Oh, yeah. let me let me introduce myself. I'm Marina Fernandez. I'm working for the 
talent acquisition team at, at Unit4. So let me explain you while Vanessa sure. joins again, as I think she has technical okay. problems right now. Yeah, to be honest, I mean, working for an IT company, it gives us the chance not to develop really fast. So right now, of course, we are main concern in our cloud transformation into our product, but this doesn't mean that maybe in the future, in the upcoming future, we will have things related with health or what, what you just said. So what we are looking mainly in this kind of positions, of course, the technical background is a main thing, but the attitude of the candidates, I think, is it's more important, no? I mean, if they they want, they are eager to learn. They want to develop themselves. They want to work in a in a big company, in an international company. And if they have these main skills, of course, it's, 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 it's the main thing, no? Despite that we are working right now for for a more an, an IT concept or a cloud concept, but maybe in the upcoming months we will we will have like new new job possibilities, such as Vanessa said like five minutes ago, more or less, we are growing, we have other kind of, of departments, such as maybe a machine learning or artificial intelligence, not just developing the product. Yeah, yeah. So maybe it could be a chance in the future. Yeah. So Vanessa, you are back. Okay, yes. Sorry. thank you. Thank you very much. Uh... Okay, so I don't know if there is any other comments or... Uh, suggestion or question? So if not, uh, thank you so much, Vanessa. Thank you so much, uh, Marina, and all of attendance. Uh, we will keep working. We will have a, uh, another meetup, the fourth meetup from this cycle, from catching and have this talent pool, uh, the 23rd of April, April 21st. 23rd, sorry, 23rd of April. So we will hope to, to have more students uh, in that time. And thank you to all the participants today. Yeah. Thank Thanks a lot to you for organizing these type of sessions. They are really, really helpful for connecting everyone. So thanks. Uh,